Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Todo Fine. My name is Michael and my classmates and I are going to present some common mistakes that we make with the word say and tell. Also, we have an entertaining sketch about types of students paying attention in class. In our cultural segment, we are going to talk about the sidewalk chalk art in Loja. Finally, we are going to talk about the Red Bull competition. We hope you enjoyed this, so let's go! Hi everyone, my name is Domenica and today I am going to talk about some common mistakes we usually make between the words tell and say. We use tell when we know the person who's telling you the message or when we say something directly to someone. For example, he told me to shut up. In this example, you know the person who's telling you to shut up. We use say when we don't know the person who's telling us the message or when we say something but to no one in particular. For example, say these words out loud. In this example, you don't know the person who told you to say these words out loud. An example of how not to use say and tell is She said me to bring the laptop tomorrow. Instead of said, you have to put tell. She told me to bring the laptop tomorrow. From now on, try to correct these errors when you speak. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringle Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. <laughs> Good morning, students. Good morning, teacher. And how was your weekend? Boring, teacher. Okay, so let me see your homework. Why are you asking? I don't remember. What is the past tense of tell you? I'm so sorry, teacher. I didn't do the homework. You. Me? Yes, you! I didn't do the homework teacher either. Why don't you ask him? He probably didn't. Hey! Wake up! Oh, good afternoon teacher. Did you do your homework? Oh, yes teacher. Finally, somebody did the homework. But I forgot my notebook at home teacher. I am so sorry. Yeah! Okay. Each of you have one point. Yes! Bless! Good afternoon, teacher! Why are you late? Sorry, teacher! There was a lot of traffic! Okay! Show me your homework! Yes! There are you! Here you are! Okay, I am going to call all of your parents. Oh, yeah. Take out a piece of paper, we're going to have a test. Uh, Come on. Hey, what's happening? What do you have for five? I don't have it. Do you have number two? I don't have it either. Hey man, let me copy your exam, please. No man, it's my test. Please, please man. No man. Damn. Hey man, please, could you pass me my pen, please? Of course. Thank you. Time's up. Give me your tests. Oh, Come on. Come on. Oh, Give me your tests. 
Please see Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke, yeah. Please. Okay, oh. give me your test, please. Thank you. Give me your test. Thank you. Okay, give me your test. Please, 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 please. Give me your test! Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, I'm going to correct your work. Okay. Congratulations. You all have ten. Yes. yes. Just kidding. You all have zero. Uh, Except you. Yeah. You have minus ten. Huh? Why, teacher? Because I don't like you. Hi guys, my name is Julio and I am going to talk about the light art sidewalk chalk in Loja. During the Loja International Light Art Festival, people write messages on the street using chalk or spray. On the Bolivar Street, you can read things like Art lives in Loja or Thank you Loja for being so pretty. Furthermore, there are also drawings showing futuristic buildings famous monuments, and a face with a dialogue box in which there are only geometric figures. These texts and drawings can be seen along six blocks in Bolivar Street between Santo Domingo and San Sebastian Squares. They are free and are organized by the City Hall of Loja. Personally, I like to express my art on the streets, and also people can see my talent on the streets. It is a great event offered by the City of Loja where art is shared with pedestrians who pass through the city's central streets. So, if you are in Loja on Tuesday, don't miss it. Hi guys, I'm Fernando and today I'm going to talk about Red Bull. But, do you know what Red Bull is? No, it's not the drink. I'm talking about the stream sport that Red Bull has with entertainment. They have lots of people who like doing all kinds of sports such as biking, climbing and parkour, also playing normal sports like soccer. Everything that they do has to have an extreme element, which is usually fantastic, amazing and surprising because they can die doing these kind of things. They jump from high mountains and fall into small holes, swim more than 30 kilometers in the ocean and cyclists don't have to get off the bike while they are climbing bleachers. As you can see, crazy things. The sport that I like the most is parkour. They are mad, they go running across the top of the buildings and in most of the cases high buildings. Red Bull also has a Formula 1 team called Red Bull Racing, which have famous racers such as Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. In summary, Red Bull collects videos from many people in the world and uploads them into their website page called Red Bull or you can find them in Instagram. It's amazing, check it out! Well, this has been the whole episode today. We hope you had fun and enjoy it very much. Don't forget to visit and follow us on our social network. Furthermore, subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications so you can enjoy more content like this one. Leave us your comments on what you think of this episode here below in the comment box. I am Michael, until the next time, be total fine.